On today's episode of the 8-9 Garage, I am totally and completely unsupervised. Last night, took the kids to see Christmas lights and the daytime running lights, they got to go. They're uh, shining in everybody's uh, rearview mirror and everything all night unless you do the trick where you have to shut the thing off, pull the handbrake up, start the car again, then ease the park brake down to a spot where you hope the lights won't turn back on. Well. I'm gonna to try to cure that today. I'm tired of the daytime running lights. They're making my bulbs burn out too fast. And I think I can do it with this. All right, we are in the vehicle in case you can't tell. And I believe we have to remove this. I, I just briefly kind of researched the location of this thing. And I'm really hoping that this works. Uh, so, oops, we're in the garage, so I'm going to hurry and shut that off. From what I gather, we remove that screw, flip the wheel around, move the, remove the other screw. to man I wish this thing would focus where I want it to right there I'll pull it out real quick this screw doesn't look like it uh, would be a factory screw That there would be a thumb drive. <laughs> and, wow, I was right. It is right there. So, I think all that needs to be done is this needs to get unplugged. And then it just works. Let's see where, uh, let's see, let me get you in here plugs in right there the white uh, bulkhead plug harness whatever you want to call it all right she's unplugged now let's uh turn the key forward no lights on well Let's see. All right, no headlights. Fog lights are on. However, the fog lights are on a completely different circuit that I wired up myself. Now I just need to make sure that they work. <laughs> nice. All right. That was an awesome modification. Just so you know, that may be against the law wherever you live. I am not aware of any states in the United States that require 
daytime running lights, Utah does not. So I'm getting rid of them. I don't see any point in having them. I know when to turn on my lights. So, uh, in fact, I think that they get you into more trouble than if you don't turn them on yourself. There have been times where I think my lights are on. So that means I have no lights in the back. Uh, this light or this dash illuminates all the time. Um, no matter if the, the lights are on or not. So it does trick me from time to time. I think this will be better for public safety than how it, how it was. Anyway, check your local laws and regulations before you do this because I'm not responsible for it. That's going to be on you. Just so you know, in case uh, you don't know much about the RS, that is the electric steering. That's the gearbox. That is a very small one. But there's a motor that goes up in there. This is very similar to the one that I am going to be adapting to the 8.9. Hopefully next summer. Since last summer was uh, all eaten up by Frankie the Fox. Let's go ahead and put this thing back together. Then we go back with the screws. Sorry for the beeping. and it still is this panel by the way i don't think i had this on the video it just you just pull and it pops down it's just held in right here and right here so very very easy to get into without any tools and i did do that whole thing with a phillips screwdriver so hopefully that tip helps you out it's i'm gonna really enjoy it i can tell already just a disclaimer, I am in the garage, it is closed. Remember, do not leave your Yaris running for long. Just enough to turn the wheel if you're indoors. Otherwise, you'll be higher than Tommy Chong in about two seconds and deader than Jerry Garcia not too long after. And we have another addition here for the Yaris. Got a set of wheels right here, guys. It all fits in that box. Now, I don't know exactly what happened. I came out the other morning, and that was gone. High ticket item right there. There's a lot of people wanting these things. It probably got stolen, and I probably startled them before they could get the other three, you know. Uh, I mean, look at those things. They're so perfect. I mean, they, they just set the whole car off. Everybody wants these things. Back to reality. Yeah, it probably fell off when I hit a bump or something like that. They were all busted up anyway. So I got uh, a new set of wheels, dub covers, whatever you want to call them, on the Amazon. I got them on the, uh, what do you call them, Prime, the warehouse deals. <laughs> so I bet they're real nice. I'm about ready to open them up for the first time and have a look at them. Let's see what we got. All right, got them cut. Ooh, I see shinage. These are supposed to be stock replicas, but I don't know. Ooh, just, just. I'm going to break my new wheels right out of the chute here. Would you just look at those? If those aren't chick magnets, I don't know what the heck is. These are supposed to be same same but it doesn't look like it let's uh, drag this one over here it came with the rings I didn't put the rings in it yet but here oh man would you look at that I know you're not gonna believe me but that is the same car that was sitting there just a minute ago it is I promise I'm not lying to you oh that just sets it off doesn't it Yeah, I, I'm dead serious. 
Same car. <laughs> uh, seriously though, this is the first car I've ever had. I've owned a car since 1992. I've had at least one car. Never once have I ever had a car that had hubcaps. I do plan on getting some wheels for it. These are four by 100s. I was really hoping, I got a few sets of uh, four luggers for Fox bodies, but they're like four by 108, something like that. So they're just a, a, a smidge off. But there are some cars, some Camrys probably, Corollas maybe, I don't know. There are some Toyotas that have 4x100s that I can put on this. I will do that at some point, but I really don't like black wheels that much. I'm not a big fan. Sorry, I know there's a lot of people that's their thing, but I like uh, I like shiny wheels. This was, uh, I think it'll be a pretty short episode anyway. And thank you again for tuning into the 89 Garage, the home of the lowest filming budget by any automotive channel on all of YouTube. Take care. This is supposed to be the home of the new Harbor Freight. Kind of cool that I won't have to drive about 35 miles to get to one now. <laughs>